So we're going to record for YouTube. Uh, I didn't do a video today. It's just got a good old-fashioned cold going on. Let's go to some uh, breaking news right now. And this is coming out of Chile. This is from uh, Reuters. A huge 7.9 earthquake. Off. Here we are, September 16th, 2015. And there's a 7.9 earthquake off central Chile coast that has prompted a tsunami uh, watch in Hawaii. And uh, it's still, uh, we're going to go to as many of these as we can and get updates. A powerful earthquake uh, with a preliminary magnitude of 7.9 has struck off the coast of central Chile. The United States Geological Survey reports the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami watch for the state of Hawaii. That's Associated Press. Uh, breaking powerful quake uh, shakes Chile capital, causing buildings to sway people to run into the streets. Uh, NWS uh, tsunami threat uh, message to Chile and Peru. Watch uh, to state of Hawaii for a magnitude 7.9. Let's see if we can get any other current updates. Bear with me for a moment. Um, when was this one posted? 11 minutes ago. And if you guys have any updates as well. Uh, BBC News 11 minutes ago. Tsunami alert as Chile hit by a powerful earthquake. A powerful earthquake has hit central Chile. The 7.9 .9 rather magnitude uh, tremor centered off the coast about 153 miles northwest of the capital. Chile officials said it measured uh, 7.2. The Pacific, Pacific Tsunami Warning Center warned that uh, widespread hazardous tsunami waves are possible. There are no immediate reports of damage. Any um, well, I'm going to hang on to that link for a moment. I know you couldn't see the, the link, but those on YouTube could see it. It's been upgraded now. Oh, my goodness. You have a link for us. Uh, let me see if I can find that. It's been upgraded to an 8.3. My goodness. Let me, um, let me see if I can find anything on that. Stay with me, everybody. We are going to talk about signs tonight. Okay, okay. Let me uh, 8.3. Let's see. Do we know if there is a tsunami or not? Anybody know? Hang on, I can't see what I'm doing here. I know everybody wants to find out about this earthquake, I think. Let's see. Yes, you're right. Breaking right now, and here is another report coming in. <clears throat> if I can get the uh, computer to load up here. Here we go. I want to make sure that I've got this right and uh, I'm not going to goof up. September 16, 2015. Magnitude. Now it's a magnitude 8.3 earthquake strikes off Chile. Tsunami threatens Hawaii. Hawaii being ev uh, uh, evaluated. I thought it said evacuated, but evaluated. And there is a video... Oh, let's see. I don't know how to get that video. Let's see. A 8.3 uh, magnitude earthquake struck off Chile's coast uh, on Wednesday, according to a preliminary assessment from the U.S. Geological Survey. The quake's epicenter was um, 29 miles west of La Pelle, Chile. It was, a, it was an, uh, initially reported as a magnitude 7.9 quake, but that was upgraded to an 8.3. Now, that is something. Let me tell you. That is uh, something because usually the uh, USGS uh, will downgrade an earthquake. I think I'm frozen up here. <laughs> Can you guys see me all right? Let me click that off. Am I froze on the camera? Oh. There we go. No, okay. I, I was when, what I was looking at. I think I had too many windows open. Okay. I'm going to look for something. Hang on. I don't know if we're going to find it or not, but let me look. Bear with me a second. What did we said? 8.3? I'm looking for it right now. I'm hold on a minute. I 
I don't know if that is. See, how do you know if it's now? Because what I'm looking on YouTube, uh, let's see if this is current. Because I don't know if they've had an 8.3. Uh, this is Dabu 7 with an earthquake update, September 16, 2015. And it's been quite some time since we've seen a significant quake, especially down here in the Chile region. <laughs> but that's exactly what we've just witnessed, a 7.9 at a very shallow depth. This initially registered as two quakes. You see here, you guys can see here, RT double 7.9 quakes off the coast. Wow. Marking the area right there. Even USGS had this listed as two quakes. But if you follow the links, they, they come back to the same link here, showing the same information. So it was one huge quake that they're saying swayed buildings, uh, had chunks of buildings falling off, caused some light damage, and sent people running, freaked out. So startled a lot of people, people running into the streets as this powerful quake shakes the capital of Chile and I also want to point out how there was a four-pointer that struck struck right in Big Bear in California that many people felt also a 3.2 just struck in New Mexico and there was a four-pointer that hit up here in Oklahoma on the outskirts of the swarm that we're used to seeing and there was also a nice size, I'm not sure, I think it was a 4.7 that hit in northwest Nevada yesterday. So there's an uptick in quake activity for sure here. I'll leave links, keep you guys posted as I come across more. It's been Dabu7. Peace. Let me check on uh, one more thing. Just uh, We're on we're on YouTube, I guess, every <laughs> Uh, I wanted to get our service on YouTube, but then uh, at the beginning we come to find out 7.9. Now it's been, I can't believe the USGS has uh, upgraded a quake. They usually like to downgrade them. They've upgraded this to an 8.3. And what I'm getting in, uh, is that uh, they are uh, preparing Hawaii. Yeah, they upgraded it, and that's unusual, huh? They, you don't see that. Uh, you see them downgrade it and try to make it smaller and less uh, uh, effective as it originally was. And this one, they're upgrading. Let me take a look at one more thing. And hopefully, do we know if Chile had any other in the past a couple of years, 8.3? I don't think they did. Okay, let me check, because this breaks on YouTube quickly, too. Oh, see, it's hard to... Okay, it's hard to, uh, in this format. No, I haven't seen that either. So keep us posted uh, on this throughout the, the day, if we can. Let me just look one more time. I don't want to take all, all the time on this because that's a big earthquake, 7.9, 8.3. Okay. And uh, like Dabu7 was saying, the, the earthquakes are ramping up uh, big time. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I always said it's going to be an interesting uh, uh, month of September. I think it's going to be a turning point in uh, end time Bible prophecy. Let me go to one more thing if I can just uh, bear with me for a moment but you see how we get excited and I'm going to talk about this in a moment but we're going to talk about this in a moment okay now they've changed it uh, Huge now. This is uh, Reuters again, and now they've uh, updated their their uh, link. Huge 8.3 earthquake off central 
Chili Coast uh, Prompt Tsunami Watch in Hawaii. And there's a video here, but I wish I knew how to play it for you guys. Um, a powerful 8.3 magnitude earthquake has struck off the coast of central Chile. The United States Geological Survey reports the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami watch for the state of Hawaii. Based on the preliminary earthquake uh, parameters, widespread hazardous tsunami waves are possible. The warning center said, adding that uh, greatest danger was for Chile and Peru. And Associated Press, uh, everyone is, uh, that's all they're talking about on the internet. So, and that's a good size quake, and that's a good size quake. But you see how we, I don't know how to do this in a, in a gentle way. Okay, now 4.5, 7.9, 8.3 is a pretty big quake. I think to get a tsunami, you're going to have to have a 7.9 higher. We're going to see a lot of 4.5s and 5.0s and even 6.0 quakes. But you see how the church does? I mean, and, and I'm guilty of this as well. When we see something big, we could be right in the middle of uh, um, bringing someone to salvation uh, and guiding them, and if an earthquake breaks, everything stops, the church stops, and uh, they want to run, and they want to look at a, a major earthquake. 9.1 in Japan, when, Margaret, just now? It was a 9.0 in Japan that caused the tsunami. Uh, don't tell me that's a 9.1 in Japan. I'm going to pack, I'm ready to go home. Oh, 2011, yes. But, uh... I want to go home. I don't want to see people hurt. I don't want tsunamis to wash away. Look what's going on is at Utah and uh, the flooding and so many people losing their lives and little children and families and, and uh, SUVs and being sucked into under the water. I, 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 I don't mean any disrespect. I can't get on the edge of my seat. I can't get excited when I see people hurt. And uh, the, how, did they, before they were killed. I don't want to see death. I don't want to see gloom. I don't want to see doom. I don't want to see destruction. But the church gets excited if an asteroid is, come on, asteroid, come on, hit Texas. I don't like that. I think when something major, these are all signs. And I and, and I pray for the people of Chile, the people of Peru, the people of uh, uh, Hawaii, that no harm comes to them. I don't want to see harm come to them. And that's what we're going to talk about in a moment, about the signs. Because I have, you know, the signs have been right in front of our nose. And it's not an 8.9, it's not an 8.3 earthquake in Chile. Jesus, our precious bridegroom, is up in heaven and Jesus weeps. It's not an asteroid, it's not CERN turning on. He's put the signs for us. Right in front of us. But we're looking in all the wrong places. He sh I'm going to show you what has been shown to me coming up. We're going to take a little break, and uh, uh, I'll be back in a, about a minute. Maybe Hop will play a song.